Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can take an icon like this or a logo and place it into your YouTube site. Let me just bring up a little demo site I set up here. Here we go. Just a real basic YouTube site. I put up one video so that I could have a YouTube page. And then I have attached with this my Google Plus account and that's where this comes from. That's over here on the About Me page. And it just takes the G icon there right from the first letter of my name. So it's just taking that G and doing a G like this. So easy to do. Now notice a couple of things here. The image over here, and they call this the channel icon, the image is a square in here, but over on Google it's a circle. It simply takes that square and cuts a circle out of it. So if you're making a new icon like we have here and you want it to be a circle, you need to be a little ways away from the edge, just like that, so you get to your whole circle in there and you'll, you'll have a little bit of the outside showing. And you also need to be aware of the background color because the background color is going to be showing when you're looking at this over on the YouTube side of things. You'll have that in the corners in here. Now something else, if you want to have it look as if it's just a circle and it's sitting on your background, you'll have to match your background area in there to the background of this shape. It's real difficult on an image like this. It would take some trial and error to get it exactly correct. I mean, you could do it, again, with a bit of trial and error. Or if you have a solid color back in there, then make it real easy to just put the solid color for your background piece. Okay, those are the basics. A couple more things to think about here. Google recommends, and of course Google owns YouTube, they recommend that this square be 800 by 800 pixels. Now it can be larger as long as it's square, but since that's the recommended size, we'll adjust ours to be that size. Now to actually place it on here, simply roll over your image like that, and then click on that little pencil right here, and that will then bring up this page and in here, this again, this is just the default. This is what they, they give me automatically over at Google. In here, all you have to do is just roll over the icon right here and you get the little camera thing showing. Click on that and then any images that you have linked up with that page. I have a few demos in here just to have something on here. You can choose from any of those or you can upload a photo right here and that's what we'll be doing. We'll be doing a photo upload of our new icon. Okay, let's now Go ahead and see how all that stuff is done. The first thing we want to do is to see what size our picture is at. Now this was built at the default Photoshop Elements size, which is 6 wide by 4 high at 300 pixels per inch. And then at the end of the discussion, and I'll put a link for this discussion in the description here, so you can then go back and see how this was built if you want to go ahead and do the same thing. We simply trimmed the sides off to make it a square. Let's now bring this down so it's exactly 800 by 800. Go up to the image and come down to resize and image size right there. Right now it's at 1200 by 1200, so it's about you know 400 larger than it should be. Now I want to scale this down without hurting the image as much as possible. So there's a few things to do. Make sure that scale styles is selected. Constrained Proportions is selected and Resample Image is selected. We're going to be reducing this, so click on the little drop down here and choose this one, Bicubic Sharper, Best for Reduction. Go ahead and choose that one and that should do pretty well. Okay, now all you have to do is to put in the number here at the top and it'll automatically fill it in down below. Notice that these are locked or linked together. That is the constrained proportions part of this right there. So enter in one and it will match the other side. Choose OK. It will then shrink that down 
do the 800 by 800 and that looks real nice looks real clean I don't see any problems with that I'm just gonna go ahead and save that file there we go now we need to have this in one of four file formats either a JPEG or a GIF file or a bitmap or a PNG I'm sorry you can't use animated GIFs no animation allowed it has to be just a still image so let's go ahead and save this now now this could be done as a GIF easy enough it's pretty much solid colors in there but I have some gradients in here in the hair so and of course gradients around the edge here so I'll probably go for a JPEG on this one you can use PNG but I found that JPEGs and GIFs are a little bit smaller in size than the PNG files okay to do this file and we're going to save for web right there bring this up and here you can check things you can choose your file formats here GIF JPEG here's your PNG 8 is the same as GIF and PNG 24 is the same as JPEG except that PNG 24 also allows transparency we don't care about that here so I'm just going to choose JPEG you then can choose your settings in here low medium high very high or maximum I'm just gonna go for maximum it's a hundred percent quality it makes a larger image but Google will automatically adjust that as needed to fit on the page so go ahead and make it as large as you can to retain as much quality as you possibly can then simply save that file to a convenient location for that just click on save now I have one here it's on my folder called PSE tricks there's a few of my other videos I've done in here in this particular folder so that's fine and it's called circular portrait logo square JPEG choose save there we go so have our file saved now we're done here inside of Photoshop elements we can then go back over to our site and again if you're on YouTube just roll over the channel icon click on that pencil and it will take you to this page click right in the middle of that icon and then click on upload photo and that took me right to the correct folder if it didn't take you to the right place just navigate to the right folder click on the image that you want there is our circular portrait logo square dot jpeg image and choose open it'll work for a minute and then bring up this dialog box here now at this point you can cancel out and start over again you can rotate the image left or right you also can grab the corner here and you can resize this if you want to a little bit smaller I'm gonna leave it like this and as we left a lot of space around here you'll see how that is going to be displayed in just a second we could come in even tighter if I wanted to on my original but this is a good for our, our demo here go ahead click on done and it's then going to set this onto the Google page choose done give it a moment and you can see it there it is so there is that icon and there is that bit of background color showing around the outside edge so that's all set to go that's all you have to do to set that up now notice over here we have another photo that's for this background here but that's the background on Google not the background over on YouTube they're different things different places to change those let's go over here to click on our YouTube page now it can take a few minutes for it to change there it goes we actually lucked out so there it is so you can see here there is the background that we left in there and then and it's displaying of course as a square and over here is displaying as a round now to get it exactly on that edge if you wanted you know to maximize that it would just take a couple of, of tries it's easy to do you can just you know click on this and then re-upload your image again let's go back over to Photoshop elements so if I wanted to have this in tighter I would just you know crop the picture in tighter up against that circle again make sure that the finish piece is at 800 by 800 and then go through those same processes again so I would come over here click on the crop let that load in let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit here that's better and then simply grab your sides here and pull these in tighter so you can then crop in tighter if you want to but there it is that's all there is to taking an icon that you did here and using that icon as your channel icon on YouTube against a two-step process 
There we go. Simply roll over the channel icon, click on the pencil that brings up the Google Plus page. Click on the icon on the Google Plus page. There's a little camera right there and then select your image from your hard drive. And again, it may take a few minutes to update the YouTube. So don't worry about that. If you don't see it immediately, check in five minutes and it should be there. So there you go. That's how to change the icon here on YouTube. And that finishes off this video and then I'll rapidly go back in and I'll change this back to something a little less confusing here for my little demo page. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this 